Welcome back, everyone. It's time once again to talk about an, ep uh, an anime that came out this season. Yeah, indeed. Last time we had talked about My Dress of Darling, which is great, and I love it. And I had mentioned that it followed the manga pretty well, uh, from what I read of it anyway. Uh, this one that we're going to be talking about, In the Land of Ledale, it, uh didn't exactly and this uh this this series this this anime here in the land of Ledale, i enjoyed it i really liked the manga i i had read the first couple of chapters of the manga i think i had gotten to maybe chapter five or something and then i saw that there was a uh one of the the end credit scenes that said like congratulations on getting an anime and so I stopped reading the manga so I could, like, not spoil myself for the anime. Because uh, I would rather watch an anime than I would read a manga. Usually. Um, this season for anime, I gotta say, there have been a couple of anime that I've read the manga of before I heard it was getting an anime. This is one case, as I've mentioned. And kind of bad that I did that. Because now I'm really judging shows a lot differently than if I would not have read manga before. Because there's so much more information in manga and the plot is a little bit slower, not as rushed, and they don't leave things out. And uh, yeah, all around the manga is better. For this show, the manga is better. I actually think it was originally a light novel and then it got a manga and uh, an anime. If I remember correctly, at least because there's only like a few chapters of the manga and the anime goes way past it. So unless it's just not been translated fully, I don't know. Regardless, let me discuss what it's about. So it's about this girl, um, Kena. She uh, is basically not reincarnated, but she's sent to another world when she dies in the hospital. Um, and she's sent into the game world of Ladale. And Ladale is like a, a fantasy world. And she's basically her character, including all of her stats, armor, um, equipment, items, all that good stuff. So having been in the hospital, she uh, basically had no life. And all she did was play this game. But she's one of the like highest level, highest tier players. I think she's like... I remember correctly, she was number three in the game for the highest level. So she's very overpowered. And essentially she goes into this world and is like, what's going on? That's weird. And very quickly realizes, oh, I guess I'm dead. And uh, this is the world now. Weird how that happened. But okay. Very quickly moves past it because she's not one of those, I want to go to my previous world kind of things. Uh, she had a pretty bad life in real life because she was basically bedridden in the hospital, uh, never left, never moved, uh, couldn't really get up and do anything. Pretty sure she never ate food for a while because she had to have a liquid diet and whatnot and was just like fed IV stuff and all that goodness. Um, so the first time she's there, uh, she eats like bread and soup. She like eats a shit ton of it because it's the first time she's had real food in years basically. Um, and I'm really disappointed in the anime not showing more of, like, the... Uh, is it expose? Is that the word I'm thinking of? The, the, the transition, essentially, from her being in the hospital to getting to the land of the Dale. Because there's, like, a lot of technical stuff that happens and a lot of, like, building up who Kana was before she got into the land of the Dale. That really makes it more impactful when you uh, realize that, oh, yeah, it's not just some, you know, random normal girl got transported to the land of Dale. No, it's uh, a girl who's, like, literally bedridden and, like, has not been outside of the hospital in years, uh, got sent to this, you know, fantasy world, uh, now being her real life, which makes everything a lot more impactful because the reason she wants to adventure now and explore and go around and do things is literally because she could not do that in real life. But the anime doesn't really touch on that too much. Like, it basically 
sums up saying that, yeah, she was in the hospital, uh, she died, and now she's in Liddell. That's essentially what it does. It doesn't really say that she was in there for a long time and anything like that, yada, yada. Already I'm a little bit upset. Anyway, the story is basically she wanders around and uh, does things, uh, being overpowered as she does so because she's a high-level character. And apparently the world that she gets sent to is uh, like set a couple hundred years after the game. So new kingdoms have changed and adapted and whatnot and all this stuff. And so she's trying to figure out what's going on exactly. Um, as well as, you know, adventuring around and enjoying her life. Which is quite good, you know. My, my main gripe, though, is that it, it seems really rushed. Like, it's like point A to point B immediately. Like, just fly past all the minor detail stuff that happens that builds characters and all this good stuff and just, like, give them the basic necessities they need to, you know, do anything. For example, in, in the first town she arrives in, um, the, the manga has a couple of ch chapter or two or something like that where she's in the town, she's doing stuff, like helping hunters, she uh, builds a better like water pump because they only have like a bucket on a, on a, a rope and she actually gives them like a pump. She also, I think she, in the manga she makes a bath, but the city already had one uh, in the anime. And she just does a lot of, like, building stuff in the city for the city. Um, because in, in the manga, it mentions that, like, one of the, like, things in Land of the Dale was that you would, like, build up a city and stuff like that. Um, which is never mentioned in the anime at all. And so it just never happens in the anime where she goes there and, like, helps build up the city until at the end where um, she does some stuff. But it's not what she did in the manga it's completely different. Maybe it's past where I read in the manga, but it's it's not what I needed, you know. And then you go, uh, when she leaves the first town, the entire journey of her going to town is just not covered at all. Not at all. And some very you know, cool stuff happens there. Like, you find out some of her abilities and powers and whatnot, and it's just not there. It's just, she leaves town, and then, boom, she's at the next city. And, uh, all there is to it. And then very quickly it introduces um, like some characters and it feels like it's just getting to like, okay, introduce this character, now this character, now this character, now this character. And now uh, now she's got to go to this, uh, this one point and do this tower. It feels like someone is like, like talking very fast about what happens in the story and doesn't have time to give you details about what happens in the story, right? Like... It's like if I were to just start summing up, like, what exactly happens in the Land of Liddale. Like, okay, so she's in the hospital, then she goes to town in the game, and then she goes to a different city, and then she meets some people, and then uh, after that she takes on a job to do something else, and then she goes there and does that, and then she goes to a different place and a different place. And, you know, if I just kind of give you, like, a bullet point list of what happens in the show, or it, it, what would happen in the story, that's how the anime feels to me. It feels like it is not well thought out um, how they wanted to do it. They try to put too much in too little amount of time, essentially. Um, it definitely would have been one of those shows where I would like to have seen it be a 24-episode anime, or at least get you know two seasons uh, confirmed there. And then again, I don't know why some, episode, some some anime get 12 episodes and some get 24 confirmed right away. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. But long story short, I enjoyed it. But I enjoyed it because of the concept and because I read the manga, not because the anime was actually good. Um, if you're going off the anime alone, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to feel rushed. And you're probably not going to think like you know what's going on. Um, yeah. I gotta say definitely read the manga uh, or the light novel read the light novel since that's what it's based off of and you'll have more information if you like pictures though read the manga uh, you'll be a little bit behind uh, of the anime where it ends but it'll still be fun so yeah uh, it really I, I wanted to have a second season because I want to see what happens next but also uh, 
if they're going to just do a rush job of a second season again, there's, there's no point. I really wanted this anime to be good. I really did. But I'm just so disappointed in it. Just, just so disappointed. Like, I like the story. I, I like the concept of it. But, man, the, uh, people in charge of the anime really did the author of this story dirty by rushing the story like they did. They really did a, a real poor job at telling this story like they should have. Man. And honestly, this was one that I was really hyped for when I found out that it got an anime. And I was like, this is going to be one of the best anime this season. And, well, yeah. While I did enjoy the ride, I am disappointed. But we can't always get what we want. So everyone, that'll just conclude my discussion on this one. Check it out if you like it. Although I highly recommend the manga over the anime. So, do what you will. All right, until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.